We all have wished to live in a palace, especially after hearing fairy tales and watching movies. You must have seen a real palace, or maybe you have not. As in some countries, the royal family still live inside a palace, while in some countries, the royal family are no longer alive, and all that's left of their palace are the ruins. Likewise, in Sikkim, there is one of the most historical places known as Rabdensi Ruins. Situated in West Sikkim, Paling, it was once the capital of the state and is surrounded by thick forest. So I will be telling you a very interesting folk tale about an incident that occurred in this palace. So the title of this folk tale is The Dragon of Rabdensi. It all began when people started to vanish from the forest that surrounded the palace and no one could figure out how and where they vanished. The king then assigned a guard outside the gate to guard the palace. But unfortunately, the guard went missing the next day. This happened for a couple of nights. Many guards went missing and despite the effort to hunt them down, No one was successful enough to find them or the reason behind this incident. When many guards started missing, there was a panic among the people and the palace. The captain of the guards then decided to solve this mystery by staying awake and guarding the palace himself. So that night, the captain stood outside the gate to guard the palace. The first half of the night went smooth without any complications. But on the second half, that is midnight, the captain started hearing strange growling noises coming from the forest. Suddenly, there was another loud roar that came from the forest. The captain quickly rushed towards the place from where the sound had come and hid himself under cover waiting for the one who made that sound to arrive. To his surprise, it was not an animal that showed up, but instead, it was a huge dragon. The dragon went towards the palace and the captain followed him. When the dragon was about to enter the gate, the captain took out his sword and with all courage and might, he jumped and cut down the dragon in two halves. The first half, that is the head of the dragon, flew off never to be seen, while the second half, that is his tail, flew right into the river. And that, my friend, is believed to be turned into a statue.